everyone, it's Cindy. Welcome back to Studio Lou. I'm here today with another flip through video of a fairy collection journal. This is the Friendly Fairies journal and it is inside a beautiful vintage book cover of the book Friendly Fairies um, by Johnny Gruel, the author of the Raggedy Ann books. It has absolutely beautiful um, covers. They are the same on both sides. Um, I created a new spine for the book because it was a very small spine and I covered it with this beautiful vintage linen fabric that has this beautiful embroidery here and I used red threads to create five signatures. I felt like all the colors just really went nicely together. Um, the binding is via these black, or not sorry, the binding, the closure is black eyelets on both sides and it closes with this big green ribbon. You'll see other flowers, beaded head pins poking out the side and on the spine we have an eyelet here that holds on to this beautiful spine dangle. It has um, shell beads, ceramic beads, glass beads, little jewelry findings, um, semi-precious stones, um, typewriter keys, little charms, all sorts of lovely little things. So let's jump on into this book. So it is five signatures and you just untie it as so. And um, as with the rest of this collection, it kind of opens in the same way with some beautiful paper that's been used on the inside and it's a pocket. And I've used an original 1950s photograph here where I have edited it a little bit by drawing wings on the people in the photo. So this is three lovely ladies with their fairy wings. And inside the pocket, let me just move the spine dangle here, there we go. We have a couple of pages from a field guide. Just these beautiful warblers and vermivoras. And that just pops on in here. So the opening page is the original Friendly Fairies first page. Has the um, information about the author and illustrator. I've added some lace down the side um, and a beaded head pin. And on back it has the copyright information and then we have some fairy wing paper here. This is a belly band made from this fairy on some fairy paper which is this sparkling iridescent paper and then we have a little collaged fairy um, journal card. It says she bade the creatures of the forest a fond goodbye and that tucks in there. Some stenciling. Grungy cabbage dyed paper. This is a watercolored um, painting pocket with a fairy here on some beautiful digital paper with one of my vellum fairy wings butterfly tags. More beautiful digital paper and some of my hand dyed batik fabric. Just more beautiful digital paper and then this green page has um, one of the big stationary pages from the Fairyopolis book and it is journal entries from the Cicely Mary Barker fairy adventure. So it's just a nice big piece of writing space but also really interesting because um, the journal entries in that book are beautiful. Let's tuck that back on there. And then we have this little fairy riding on a duck and some um, vintage um, lace here. In summer, nymphs curl up and doze, sleeping soundly by the pond where lilies shine and gently rock and scent the air with wispy frond. And then just another beautiful book page, a little mushroom vintage card there on some green paper, some stenciling. This is um, a little collaged pocket, some mushrooms and vintage butterflies. And then this little fairy library card, it says fairy on back. Just another beautiful digital page. Um, this is the sun tarot card and some more digital paper. This is the Pansy Fairy from Cicely Mary Barker. Oh, it's also a postcard. Um, and then on this side, we have a belly band that's got a Cicely Mary Barker fairy here and it talks about butterflies. And then this is a piece of stationery. It's like a little card made from cabbage dyed paper. And this image is from a local author from the Muskoka area. And she made a book called um, Zelda and Isabella, I believe. And it's a, it's a story about a fairy and her friend, a dragonfly. And then this is some cabbage dyed paper with some green fabric on the side, some stenciling. 
Take the fair face of woman and gently suspending with butterflies, flowers, and jewels attending. Thus your fairy is made of most beautiful things. Some of the fairy paper and the fairy wing fabric. There's a fairy rhyme here on this. This is a fairy art um, page. A little bit of delicate tea dyed lace up here. And this is actually um, a stamped index card that um, you can write back here. And this is actually a pocket. So the, the piece of art is broken up that way. This is an original illustration from the book. And then here we have just a beautiful scrap of paper and this little pocket here with this little fairy stamp and some um, ribbon down the side. I have discovered in a drawer a book of fairy tales belonging to Edith. Remarkable that she too has an interest in the fairies. And then this is, um, it's from the public domain. It's a turn of the century um, image that uh, there's this photo photographer who did this beautiful photography series of these girls and fairies in the woods. It's just lovely. This is um, the back of that beautiful paper. This is black walnut dyed paper. This is an original book page and story about the fairy ring. And then on this fairy paper, we have another page of the Fairyopolis stationery. This one's really lovely. It has a map and lots of fairies and little notes. And so that just tucks over this page. Some fairy art here from this beautiful book. A little coloring book page pocket with some collage in behind of um, hand dyed papers. The Song of the Elm Tree Fairy and the Song of the Willow Fairy. Then some um, blue presentation paper with just this beautiful fabric down the side and a beaded head pin. A little collage with botanicals. And then this little village of little fairy people. And then a little fairy down here, more collage with hand dyed papers, some gold um, ribbon, little fairies here, and then some fairy art, coffee dyed paper, and this is a fairy verse, that blessed mood in which the burthen of the mystery in which the heavy and the weary weight of all this unintelligible world is lightened. William Wordsworth, lines written a few miles above Tintern Abbey. And then we have a journal card just clipped on here with some fabric and this lovely bird. And this is on some fairy paper. Another coloring book page pocket on the original book page. And this is a postcard from the, this is the Narcissus Fairy. It's a Barker Fairy. Another original book page, lovely illustrations, more black walnut dyed paper, the inspiration tarot card from the fairy tarot, um, and this is another of the Zelda and Esmeralda book series, little journal card with packaging paper on back, or coffee dyed paper rather. More of that beautiful scrap of paper. And then here we have um, a journal card made from beautiful book page of fairy art packaging paper. This is handmade, local handmade paper with these leaves and I've stitched some green flowers and leaves down the side. We have a little pocket here and a journal card of these fairies. A little bunny stamp on some blue paper. This is an Amity Bloom index card pocket and some fairy art from a book page. A collaged page. Um, then we have this um, side tuck. It's like a fairy collage, coffee dyed paper in back. And then the story of the unhappy fairy. And that's stationary to write on the back. Just a little bit of a fun vintage fabric on this um, stone paper and some washi tape and stenciling. Just some lovely fairy art here. Some painted page, March winds and April showers bring forth May flowers. This is Cicely Mary Barker inspired fabric. And this paint, I don't know if you can tell that it's iridescent, like it shimmers purple. Um, and then this is some more beautiful fairy art. Some tatting stitched down the side. Um, this is Arthur Rackham fairy art. And then this has a fun edge, this paper. 
and this is Magical Blessings tarot card from the Fairy Tarot, and then a beautiful big Shirley Barber um, journal card. Shirley Barber is the um, illustrator of that fairy. And then more of the handmade paper with flowers. And this is another original book page. And this beautiful pocket. And another Amity Bloom index card. This is a tip out from Amity Bloom and has um, the, the blue fairy paper here. And then over here it says Into the Tangled Woods. This is um, a teal and tattered fairy page. We have a little floral tab on green paper, golden fairies gathered. And then this little pocket with this little envelope with this fairy here. And this is actually a Valentine envelope for children sending Valentines. And it has the moderation fairy tarot card inside. That just tucks in there. And then some of my hand eco printed um, paper, the Find Balance Fairy Tarot card, and it is on some really fun um, book. This is a, from another fairy book of these really fun fairies. I love the illustration style. This is an Amity Bloom tag, and um, I've added this little vintage pansy image on this vintage scrapbook paper inside from like a 1920 scrapbook. And there's the center here. Just living is not enough, said the butterfly fairy. One must have sunshine, freedom, and a little flower. Hans Christian Andersen, the butterfly. And then more beautiful fairy art, more eco-printed paper, the horned poppy fairy, the song of the red campion fairy. This is a, um, a fabric tab on this green page. More teal and tattered paper. This little, this little sad fairy on some fairy paper, botanical pocket on an original book page, and this is a little collaged fairy tag here with some of my hand spun yarn on the top. Another original book page, actually both of these are. And a little um, squirrel collage pocket, and this is a little um, spread from a botanical calendar cabbage dyed paper with some lovely fabric down the side with a beaded head pin, a Barker fairy, another one, some eco printed paper. This is like a little fairy postcard on fairy paper with this little journal card with a fairy here, a vintage plant card, little fairy on cabbage dyed paper, snail, the song of the Rose Bay Willow Herb Fairy some fabric down the side of this coffee dyed paper, little bird's nest here, the fairy realm. This is a little tuck spot on a vintage Enid Blyton book page. And this is a little card that I've used um, this little vintage um, bird field guide page and a little fairies up here. That just tucks in there. Cabbage dyed paper with eco printed fabric and a little head pin fairy spotting tarot card and then this large fairy tag center of the signature we have a couple of beautiful fairies some poppies cabbage dyed paper hello ladybird and this illustration this is a vintage Enid Blyton book page some lace down the side agrimony fairy the Song of the Horned Poppy Fairy. We have a little vellum butterfly here on fairy paper. More eco printing and Barker fairies. Fabric on the side of cabbage dyed paper. And then this tuck spot here on an original book page with this fun, it's kind of complex to see this whole scene of this fairy art and then on back it's the story the fairy fellers master stroke um, and that is um, on there and it just kind of pulls up here and you can see we have a couple of fairy stamps there so it's just like a little extra journal space on the back and that just tucks in there 
and then the last of the beautiful original book pages and this is the fairy ring and you can see all the colors here and the fairies just beautiful and then the pocket at the back here we have a little collage tag and a little butterfly that you could write on or you could stick it in some area of the journal so thank you so much for joining me for the Friendly Fairies journal. If you're seeing this video, that means that this journal is either already in my Etsy shop or it is on its way there, probably within about 15 minutes or so. So you can find the link to my shop and all my other social media down below in the description box. And I would love it if you subscribed. Have a great day and bye for now.